Hi and welcome to week 14 of economics. So this week um, we delve into the multifaceted realm of monetary systems and their historical evolution. So we're going to explore the uses and functions of money, uh, scrutinizing its role as a medium of exchange, a unit of account and a store of value. So let me move on to the next slides. Okay, so money in its various forms serves as a cornerstone of economic transactions. Beyond its role as a means of facilitating exchange, money acts as a unit of account, providing a common measure for the valuation of goods and services. Moreover, it functions as a store of value, allowing individuals to save and transfer purchasing power across time. The intricacies of money's function underscore its vital role in fostering economic stability and efficiency. So we're going to then move on to explore the characteristics of money. Um, it's imperative to discern between its commodity and representative forms. So commodity money, historically rooted in tangible assets like gold or silver, embodies intrinsic value. Representative money, on the other hand, derives its value from a promise, often backed by a government or institution. Recognizability, divisibility, durability, and portability are quintessential characteristics that underscore the effectiveness of money as a medium of exchange and a store of value. So as we delve into an analysis of currency, we must weigh the positive and negative aspects associated with this medium of exchange. The tangible nature of currency facilitates everyday transaction, yet its physical form poses challenges such as susceptibility to wear and counterfeiting. Uh, in tandem, we scrutinize alternative media of exchange, considering the rise of digital currencies and the potential advantages they bring. Uh, these, could, these advantages could be such as increased efficiency and reduced reliance on physical currency. However, these innovations also pose challenges, including concerns about security and regulatory frameworks. So as we reach Wednesday, uh, we will move in into a more historical exploration. So this historical exploration pivots towards the financial landscape of the United States before the Civil War. Uh, specifically, uh, we're going to examine the shift between centralized and decentralized banking systems. So in the nascent years of the Republic, decentralized banking, marked by the issuance of state chartered banknotes, prevailed. However, the inherent instabilities and frequent financial panics led to a paradigm shift towards centralized banking with the establishment of the first and second banks of the United States. These institutions aim to provide a more stable financial framework, yet their existence fueled debates over the balance of federal and state powers, as famously the debates happened between Alexander Hamilton and uh, Thomas Jefferson. So wrapping up the week, we will turn our attention to the gold standard, a pivotal aspect of monetary history. The gold standard, rooted in the pegging of currency to a specific quantity of gold, provided stability and a universal measure of value. Its repeal, however, was prompted by various factors, including economic shifts, the need for greater flexibility in monetary policy and the challenges posed by the rigidity of a gold-backed system. The repeal ushered in a new era marked by fiat currencies and a more adaptable monetary landscape. So in closing, we're going to have an extensive exploration into monetary systems. We're going to look at the functions and characteristics of money. Uh, we will weigh the advantages and disadvantages of currency. 
uh, delve into the historical shifts between decentralized and centralized banking and look at the gold standard, its evolution, its limits, and its subsequent repeal. So I hope that this video has been helpful. Now, as you know, the study guides for the midterms have been posted on BC. I hope that you take a look at them, uh, very, a very close look at them and study from them. And we will be having two review sessions at the top of next week. So I look forward to seeing you all and working with you in class. Thank you.